एस साउथ एशियन मीडिया ग्रुप वाई मीडिया Today's tour, Wilkinson, first as Chief Consumer Officer. Please tell us a little bit more about yourself and what we're going to be talking about today. All right, great. My name is Stuart Wilkinson. I'm from the Financial Services Regulatory Authority of Ontario. My job is to amplify the voice of the consumer within our organization, and our job as an organization is to regulate financial services that serve Ontarians every day and at really important points in their lives. So those are things like insurance, credit unions, pensions, and mortgage brokers. And we're here today to talk about the Check Credentials tool that we just launched, which helps Ontario consumers get a quick and easy view of the credentials that their financial professional has. A couple of years ago in Ontario, anybody could call themselves a financial advisor or a financial planner. And recently, Ontario has passed legislation that requires that if you're going to call yourself a financial advisor or a financial planner, you have to have an approved credential from an approved credentialing body. FISRA, our organization, has just launched something called the Check Credentials Tool. And this allows anybody to go online and check to see if the financial professional they're working with or considering working with has credentials that allow themselves to call themselves a financial advisor or financial planner. So this is a really quick and easy way that consumers can start doing their homework to protect themselves and make sure that the person that they're entrusting their financial future to has the credentials uh, required and uh, can call themselves either a financial advisor or financial planner. Okay. And uh, what led FSRA to launch an education campaign encouraging consumers to verify con- uh, credentials of uh, financial professionals, basically? Well, this is really important, right? Mm-hmm. Financial well-being is really uh, strongly connected to our overall well-being. And part of FISRA's job is to promote public confidence in our regulated sectors and promote knowledge and education about our regulated sectors. And what we've heard from consumers in the past is that most of them would probably rather watch their favorite TV show or think about what cell phone they're gonna buy next rather than think about their financial plan for their future. And that's completely understandable. I I get that and we have a lot of different things to do uh, on our list every day. So what we want to do is make it really easy for people. Uh, And you can use this tool uh, as quickly as you, uh, it it takes less time than ordering a pizza uh, to go online and check check out the person that you want to check out and see if they're a financial advisor or a financial planner or something else. Perfect. And uh, for those who might not be familiar, could you walk us through how consumers can use this program and use this tool to verify the professionals? Absolutely. So you go to our website, which is fsrao.ca, and the check credentials tracker is very easy to use. Um, I I, I used it when it launched. I was very excited. I looked up my friends. I looked up my advisor. Uh, I I couldn't wait to get on and it's really quick. You just need the first name or last name of your advisor or both. Um, You can even search by city if you want to see people in a certain geographic location, Uh, Mm -hmm. but you type in their names and what you get is a result that tells you what title they're allowed to use, what credential they have, what credentialing body it comes from, and also, and I think this is really important, if they're subject to any disciplinary proceedings. So somebody that has had an issue uh, that has come up, maybe a complaint's been lodged against them, that's going to be flagged. And that can inform consumers when they're thinking about who they want to work with and who they want to entrust their financial future to. Perfect. Uh, that was my next question. Like, why you think it's so important for consumers to go through these steps and uh, pick the right uh, person? It's it's critical um, because ultimately we're we're all going through different things in our lives, but our financial well-being is so important and it's about though you yourself and those around you making sure you're secure and have a plan about your financial future and things can go really poorly for people 
if they're not being served by the right person or they're getting bad advice or even they're working with somebody that's just straight up scamming them. So we want consumers to be empowered with the right information, to ask the right questions and work with people that they, they can trust. So we see this as fundamental to financial safety, fairness and choice in Ontario. And we're really excited about the tool as a way to advance that for consumers. Perfect. And uh, can you tell us some interesting findings that came out of uh, the research that you guys did? Yeah, well, one of my favorites um, is that um, the majority of people spent more time researching their latest cell phone than they did um, researching about their financial plan. And uh, another one was a majority of people being more familiar with their favorite television show versus their pension plan, which helps them retire. So, I, and I, I have to admit, that's the, that's the case for me too. I'd much rather yeah. watch, uh, go home and turn on Netflix or something than uh, read my pension plan's annual report or um, go online and start learning about different retirement savings products. But the point that we're trying to make is it's important to start creating the habits and investing time so that you can get up that curve. And it's okay if you're not doing your homework every night, but at least get in the habit of doing it from time to time and make sure that you know the right questions to ask the professionals that you're working with so that you are assured that they've got the right information in your best interest at heart. Perfect. So how does a check credential tool empower consumers in uh, making the right decisions? What what are some of the steps in it and uh, how does everybody benefit from that? The check credential tool, it's really a starting point and it allows for consumers to really quickly and really easily check information on the financial professional that they're working with or thinking about working with. And that will give you a sense if your financial professional is a, qualified to call themselves a financial advisor or financial planner, it will at least give you a sense that they can meet these minimum standards that, that you have to have in order to hold the credentials that allow you to use those titles. So things like you have minimum education requirements you're subject to supervision by a credentialing body and there's a complaints process in place if things go wrong. So that's really good for consumers to know and that didn't exist at all a couple of years ago in, in, in Ontario. This is new and a couple of years ago, anybody could call themselves a financial advisor or financial planner. Now to use those titles, you have to meet that minimum criteria. So that's the starting point that's offered through this tool and then you still have to do more, more homework and ask questions like, how do I, if you're working with the financial professional, how do I know that the advice that you're going to give me is right for me and not just general advice you'd give anybody? What sort of products are you allowed to advise me on? What's the, what are the details behind your education and qualifications? Things like that. So consumers will always have to drill down and, and do some more research and work uh, to make sure that they're getting the right type of advice, but this tool is really the start of empowering them to go down that path. Perfect. And uh, what advice would you give to like the overwhelmed consumers out there who just don't know where to start and know what to do? Wow, it's okay. You're just like me. Uh, that's, it, it's all good. Uh, my job at FISRA is to amplify the voice of consumers. And we hear every day from consumers that this isn't easy and it's it's difficult and there are a lot of a lot of barriers so we're making it easier and the I, I always like to say the best time to plant a tree was yesterday and the second best time was today so try to get started form those habits make it really manageable for yourself and don't feel bad you're just like everybody else uh, just trying to get through day by day and and learn about this stuff it doesn't happen overnight Perfect. And uh, how do how do you think uh, this will envision like the check credential tool? Like, what what do you see in it in the safety and uh, of uh, sorry consumers in Ontario? Well, I I think this is a great starting point. I'm so excited about this tool. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about the opportunity it offers consumers to look up the credentials of the financial professionals they're working with 
there's always more to be done to promote safety, fairness, and choice in mm -hmm. Ontario financial services. And FISRA is always going to be focusing on that and prioritizing new issues and opportunities to better protect the rights and interests of consumers. So we're not just washing our hands of things and saying we launched this tool, we're done. Um, it's, it's on to improving things and making things even better. But I think it's a really exciting uh, starting point. Perfect. And uh, what message do you have uh, for our viewers out there? Go to fsrao.ca and check out the check credentials tool and make sure that the person that you're working with, the financial professional that you're working with is ready uh, and has the right credentials to call themselves a financial advisor or financial planner. Perfect. And Thank you. if you want to skip right to the site, it's checkcredentialstool.fsrao.ca. Perfect. Thank you so much. Media Group, Y Media. Wow.